Doof? He's just doofy. Bozo. If he tried to copy you with no shirt, try to copy you with the energy, he's been studying you. He's, he's been trying to beat me. He's trying to beat me. But you know, we're playing it calm. But. Did you feel anything when he tried to push you? No, no, just a guy just wanting to be tough, you know, big buff dude. But, you know, boxing's different, you know, you, muscles don't win you championships, so. Ryan, what's after this? What's after this exhibition? Hopefully another one, man. I'm just trying to get in, you know, in the mix of things after a long break, you know, obviously just want to get, uh, you know, used to training and, and just continue, you know, develop and then hopefully get a big fight in April. This fight's at 153. Is this where your future is moving forward? No, no, not at all. This is, uh, you know, obviously he's a bigger dude, so this is like where we met in the middle. But 154, nah, not yet. Hey, Ryan, do you have a special message for all the people in Japan? Just big love, man, big love. Excited to be there. I know it's, uh, it's a huge, you know, uh, huge spot where they have, you know, amazing fights. You know, they had the Pride events over there, so I'm just happy to bring a big event to Japan and, Hopefully we do something amazing out there. What do you think he's going to say after the fight? Because he brought it today. I don't know, man. I don't know what he's going to say. He's <laughs> I, I don't know. I like, I'm having fun with this. You know, for me, it's not, it's like a little different than, you know, how I am usually when, you know, have a real fight. Right now, I'm just enjoying the, the event, just trying to soak it all in and, uh, you know, just give the fans a good show. Your suspension's over April 20. When do you actually think you would be in a professional match after this? April 21st, to be honest. I mean, that's what we plan to do. That's what me and Golden Boy and the whole team plan to do. See my guy Blair Cobbs right there. Yep, I knew it was coming. April 20, what? April 21st. Oh, April 21st? Yes sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Blair the Flair? Oh, shit. Are you going to be fighting Blair? King Ryan? <laughs> with the ultimate showdown. But you know something? Please knock this motherfucker out. <laughs> yeah, I got I'm, you. I'm tired of this shit. I'm really tired of I'm this tired shit. I'm tired of this, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. The whole shit with, with Mike Tyson. Please knock this motherfucker out. No, he be gone. You know what I mean? <laughs> be but beyond yo, all that. Yo, yo, Ryan, what was hey, it? Yo, Ryan. He said he's going to be ready for your left hook. I don't think he's ready. Uh, hell no. Say, that's what hell no. Say. Hell no. Hell no. He ain't ready for that shit. <laughs> motherfucker. The hell? <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, maybe we get it down, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. Ryan, 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 what, 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 Ryan, what was your yeah. take on the Jake Paul Mike Tyson fight? What you was your opinion down. on that? It was all right, you know. Faking. It was kind of like what what it was. Mr. Fake. You know? Ryan, Eric Gomez wants you to take like a stepping, you know, like Mr. a you know, fight in between a big one. He said you wanted a big fight though. Is that is April twenty first going to be a big name or like it a stepping stone? It depends on how the, how I feel, you know. Uh, obviously, I'm having these exhibitions uh, not only, you know, you know, it's a if it's a big event, but mm. to stay in shape to to keep you know that rhythm going, you know. Obviously, taking you know months off it, it ruins your. You know, you know, you you lose a step. So obviously, we're gonna see how it goes with these, and then from there, we'll make a decision. There's a lot of big name opponents out there. I know Javante Davis and his team would have a rematch with you. I know, you know, Terence Crawford is right there. Are those the kind of names that you'd be looking at? Yeah, for sure. Teofimo Lopez, mm. uh, even a 140 title with Ryan. You know, I feel like at the right fight, I could go down to 140. So that's what I'm looking at. We'll see. Have you seen how Fuck much? Fuck Tio. Have you seen how much Japanese love? Uh, <laughs> Stephen Fulton still gets now just from having a fight in Japan with Mayo oh, no, and do you think that can you know catapult your stardom around the world by oh, having yeah, this for show? Sure, because uh, one thing about me, we don't bring boring fights ever. So mm. this will be a this will be an amazing opportunity, and like I said, hopefully I can grab my uh, grow my fan base in Japan, and it's gonna be amazing. Is the Haney so, rematch gonna happen? You gotta ask him. About that. <laughs> Coming in there trying to disrespect the sport. I'm tired of it. Like kind of like what Blair was saying, and uh, ready to teach this guy a lesson. To be honest. What What did you take? Uh, you know his take on you know disrespecting you right here at the press conference. Honestly, usually I react different. I'm just I'm just enjoying it. You know this guy's uh, he's excited. For me, I'm like okay, little exhibition, little warm up, and uh, just gonna do my thing. Well, what's coming up after this for you? you know, uh, we're waiting for you to get back in April. What are your plans? Who do you see uh, in your sights after you get back? Uh, like I said, I wanted uh, the big fights. You know, uh, anybody that's going to be a big event. That's what I want to do, but we'll see after these exhibitions. Right. At what weight class? 
140 to 147, that's kind of what I'm looking at. How did you feel in Halloween when someone dressed up like you had this song, Hi, Hi Bless, what how's it called? Bless Highly Favorite. Yes. Did you watch it? Did you see the kid? Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. I, I guess they took his video down. Why? I don't know. They flagged it. Wait, what do you think about that? The kids are dressing up to you and you're not even suspended. They still want to be you. It's crazy. You know, it's a, it's a dream come true, you know, seeing those kids being inspired. It's something that I kind of always wanted to do. Uh, similar how I looked up to Oscar Floyd and everybody. So I'm happy. Yep. Ryan, you can make a lot of millions and I do a my entire career doing exhibition fights. Mm -hmm. um, like, uh, how much like do you wanna go back to serious boxing? That's all I wanna do. You know, for this is just to stay active. You know, obviously I'm suspended, so yeah. this is my only option. But for me, it was more so, you know, staying in shape, getting ready for a bigger fight. Um, and this is my only route. So I found a way. If uh, Jake Paul calls you. Uh, for next early next year, is that what you want to do? Yeah, let's run that. <laughs> so come April, when you make your comeback, what's the first thing you want to do? Who's the first person you'd like to fight? You got Ryo at 140 for a world title. Um, obviously, you got Teofimo Lopez working my way to the Javante rematch, too. All those options seem good to me. It's something that uh, intrigued me. Obviously, I don't fight anymore to fight, you know, those in-between fights. But if I have to, if my team feels like that's the way to go, I'll also do that too. It's really just depending on how I feel with these exhibitions. And in terms of the weight, 140, is that where you want to stay? 136 is too low, right? No, way too low. 140 to 147. Obviously, I'm fighting 154 here, but that's not going to be my ideal weight class. Probably 147 is probably going to be more near it. Do you think there's still a place for these exhibition fights after what we saw with Tyson, with Paul? Obviously, you've got a nice trip. We know you're yeah. doing it for other reasons, but have we kind of maybe come to the end of the exhibitions after what we witnessed? It just depends on how competitive you could get these exhibitions. Obviously, people don't want to watch mismatches like you've seen, so we'll see. And we'll how are you feeling in yourself in terms of, you know, you've got just a few months ban, it's not too long, but obviously I know you're probably hurt, a bit gutted about what went on. Yeah, like, what are your good. thoughts on how it happened? How do you think it got in your system, the trace? Um, obviously, it had to be a tame to supplement. That's what the trace that they found. It's pretty disappointing, but there's nothing I could do now. Kind of just have to go with the flow. <laughs> have you been to compete in Japan before? The kids out there, I used to race there. Mm. They'll go crazy for you. It's nice competing in front of them. Yeah, yeah. When I went over there, they were already screaming my name, so I can imagine when I'm fighting. Awesome. Good luck. Thanks, Ryan. Ryan, obviously the boxing world, they just want the Haney rematch yeah. so it could be settled once and for all. What is your message? Obviously, you guys are going through the lawsuit right now, mm -hmm. but if you and Devin can run it back again under, what terms would it be? Run it back the same way, just a little higher weight class. <laughs> Love, bro. You guys are going to fall. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it guys.